right, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, holy smokes. Hey, my name's Corey, and you might have seen me on Modern Rogue building some crazy things. Here in Shed Logic, we're gonna build some really crazy things. Like a 25 shot custom Nerf blaster to destroy all your friends. Thanks to Cameron from the Walcom S7 Nerf channel, the best Nerf channel there is. So he invited me to Jared's epic Nerf battle at the Cowboy Stadium to show off that and also just to play around with a bunch of Nerf stuff. And I will not be going to this Nerf battle with some off the shelf Nerf weapons. So we built that crazy one right there, 25 shot beast missile launcher. But I wanted something that was a little bit smaller, a little bit more portable and something that would shoot just one laser dart or one missile at a time. But I wanted to be real simple and something that people could repeat build at home with basic parts from Home Depot. So we're not going to be using any pneumatics, like some of the sprinkler valves that people use. And we're not going to be using electric solenoids. It's just going to be a straight ball valve. I expect we'll lose a little bit of volume off of it, but these missiles don't require much air pressure at all to be able to launch. And I hope this thing works because we're going to need to blast lots of people at this Nerf event with missiles and darts. All right, for general parts, we have a bicycle pump, a really small bicycle pump, and then a bunch of elbows, PVC parts. Our barrel will be a half inch C PVC pipe. This is just the right size to fit the darts inside, eh, like that, and also have the missiles sit on top. So first up, I'm gonna sand some of the PVC pieces to, to get some of the paint off. <laughs> All right, so this will be the general layout of the gun where we have the main barrel, the valve that will open up the air chamber to allow the air to go through for the dart to fling out. All this section back here will all be air chamber. And then right here is the pump. So you will take and actually pump this in, which will air this chamber, hit this valve right here that will send the air out. These right here, this is be where we add in our extra ammo. Half inch threaded female CPVC connection to a half inch pipe. CPV CPVC connection. So this one is a male threaded half inch to a half inch pipe coupling. This is a half inch T. Another one of the half inch threaded couplings. Half inch threaded coupling on this one. This is a half inch ball valve. A pretty smooth flowing one. So hopefully we can open it up quick to get most airflow through. I will feed into these half inch elbows and half inch pipe for our storage chamber. Half inch threaded on one side non-threaded on the other for a half inch coupling going into a half inch reducer from half inch to a eighth of an inch and then an eighth of an inch schrader valve going into a one inch pvc pipe this will be actually what holds our pump it is exactly the right size for this pump right here i will put it in the description but it's a t-i-a-k-i-a -A bicycle pump this is a slip T. So what this does is it clips onto a one inch pipe and then has a spot where you can attach in a half inch threaded piece of PVC. That's what we will connect to this T right here. There will be no air that flows through here. This is just for support. These are one inch snap on T's that will once again carry no air, but they will house a half inch CPVC connection that we will put a piece of half inch pipe into. So that way we can actually slip on the missiles for extra ammo. So we can carry two extra pieces of ammo plus the one that's on in the barrel. So basically three ammo on the gun. So in this case, I wanna start with all the taped items. I like to tape everything first, because if you don't, when you start gluing things, then you start loosening up these tape seals and I don't wanna do that. So get all the tape tight first. So now we need to measure the amount of pipe we want in between these two connections, which I want it really snug. It's gonna be roughly inch and inch and a quarter. Yeah, about an inch and a quarter. Don't fight me. Perfect. Do the same on these. All right, let's glue some of these together. Man, I really prefer to wear gloves doing this purple stuff because it always gets all over me. Okay. 
and we'll build this section separate. Okay, so we got a lot of the structure of the gun glued together. Now we need to measure and cut this pipe and this pipe right here. Plus we're gonna need to end up measuring out the barrel and how far we want that to go out. We'll probably save that to near last. So next up is measuring the tube that will hold our pump. And I'm thinking something like that. Okay, I want this pipe right about here, so I'm gonna clip it in. Get this piece shoved in here, roughly where I want it. Now we can take a measurement of how far how long we want this pipe right here. Yep, just on the short side of three and three quarters. Purple. All right, now we can glue one side. Way too much glue. Yes, yes. Whew. Okay, so now we need to measure this pipe right here. This will be the back piece. Eight and three eighths inch. Ish, 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 ish. Glue time. Glue this top one first. <laughs> How cool is that? Now you don't have to build something awesome like this. You could build just straight U-shape or something like that, but I wanted something with a little bit of flair, a little bit of halo sword action. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay, so we got the PVC parts glued. Now we want to work on the pump assembly. So this will fit perfectly down inside this tube. And so this has to connect to the Schrader valve right there. So this piece actually needs to be somewhat long, just so we have room for this, because I couldn't find an adapter to be able to replace this pipe. So it doesn't really matter, it's fine. So that will come out to roughly there, right? Where we want to cut this off is near this little joint here, because that's where this comes in and out. So we don't need it much longer than that. So I sanded that down pretty good, so I didn't want it to cut us when we were pumping it full air. I forgot. We gotta get this hose down in here. Oh, see that fits just so perfect down in there. Mm. Mm. Okay. Like that. We may end up putting some hot glue or something down inside of this pipe to hold the pump. We're just gonna have to kind of feel it and see. It already holds air. <laughs> Forgot, I probably shouldn't pressurize it while I'm still letting the glue dry. <laughs> So now that we have this out, I think we can actually work on the length of the barrel. So we can kind of sneak this one in there a little bit. Okay, so how long with the barrel do we want? I certainly don't want it that long because I can't reach it to put the Nerf arrows on it. So I definitely need it shorter than that. Let's try cutting it off the same length as this and then because we can always make it a little shorter before I do that. Let's glue it in there. Because we're bold, that's how we do. Too much glue. Just like we like it. Shabam! <laughs> Check it out! I think that is pretty wicked cool. Maybe we pressurize it just a little. Shh, don't tell nobody. All right, here we go. Three. Two, one. Oh. <laughs> oh, holy smokes. Okay. Okay, so we have this bad boy assembled and glued. Now we need to clip on the extra ammo slots. So these are gonna clip on here. Whew, that is scary. So I'm thinking something like this. 
And then we have some of the barrel sticking out here for this to clip on. Say we cut them off somewhere around in here. We can always make them shorter if we want. See how that feels and looks. Yeah. What do you think? Pretty cool? So you can just whoop, whoop. These will also be able to carry a couple extra of these. So you could have even more ammo. How cool are we? Pretty cool. The answer is real cool. Okay. Dummy. Yes! So I recommend painting it to your style. I'm gonna paint mine, I have no idea. I have a bunch of spray paints. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I guess you'll see in just a second. Maybe after this magic clap. All right, so we've completed the build of the crazy Nerf missile launcher slash sniper rifle slash Home Depot part masterpiece. Lillian, what do you think so far? It's nice, but you forgot tape. You <laughs> tape. forgot tape. Yes, of course, we're team tape. tape. We're we team had to tape. tape it up. Not only did we have to paint it, we had to tape it. Okay, so the first thing we gotta do is test its speed. We're gonna use our little chronograph. I don't know what that is, but it sounds fancy. Let's do it. Bully. In three, two, one. Woo! 185. I think we could get up to about 200 on it. Oh, deer! I just saw some deer. Oh, yeah. Maybe we can go get them with the nerf. No, that's rude. <laughs> All right. So I got it pumped up. We're going to do another distance test with the missile, and then maybe we'll do one more distance test with the nerf dart. Let's see if we can get it off the court. All right, we're gonna give it a little angle on it here. And three, two, one. <laughs> oh, I made it to the edge of the court. It made it to the edge of the court. Oh. <laughs> I pull that trigger real fast. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we got one off the court. Let's try one of these darts, see if we can get one of these darts to fly. And my pinky fits in it better. Yeah, oh, don't get your pinky stuck. Sure. Oh. <laughs> I should probably close the valve. Oh, wow. Yo, wow, that shot way over the court. <laughs> All right, blow it up. Oh, gosh dang it. Got oh, me again. Oh, my God. 